Tonight, how do they love each other? Let us count the ways. Wedding bells. A dress, a bouquet, but no wedding. Left at the altar during the rehearsal. The bride slinking home and the groom? He went to the rehearsal dinner. They had a dinner. A jilted bride who would not give up, even when the groom did. Nearing 40, school teacher by day. Belly dancer by night, facing life alone, says her mom. I really didn't think I'd ever see the day. So how did she get the guy? Dancing her way into her soulmate's heart. This is it. I'm actually walking down the aisle at my wedding. I'm Don't stop really crying. And now, more weddings with Elizabeth Vargas. Fed up with romance, she took a vacation from dating, and this school teacher got what she never dared hope for. You've heard that love comes when you least expect it. Well, it doesn't hurt if you're wearing a belly dancing costume at the time. Her name is Eleni, a seductive belly dancer with a sensual smile and smooth moves. But underneath the long hair, fancy makeup, and stick-on tattoo, she's simply known as Ms. Cohen, a beloved 38-year-old first grade school teacher at PS 232 in Howard Beach, Queens. Staring down her 40th birthday, Ms. Lenny Cohen was still a single woman in New York City. Okay. I always imagined someday I would get married. I think every little girl imagines one day, you know, she'll put, you put a dress on your head and pretend it's a veil. Lenny kept looking and looking, but simply couldn't find a guy who would commit. Even her mom was starting to give up hope. I really didn't think I'd ever see the day, no. Then one day, Lenny announced to her friends that she was taking a one-year sabbatical on dating. I wasn't making arts and crafts projects anymore, and I wasn't belly dancing as much as I wanted to, because I was too busy going to singles parties and hanging out in bars and going to hardware stores and waiting for the right man to come down the aisle and find me. It's almost a cliche that as soon as you stop looking, love finds you. Lenny spent more time in the dance studio and landed a dance gig with a live band. Scott Wilson was checking her out from behind his guitar. She looked magnificent in her costume. Scott is a creative kind of guy, quirky, almost eccentric. At 48, he has been divorced for almost 15 years and says he simply never found a woman who could live with the open-eyed delight of a first grader. As I found out Lenny teaches first grade, I said, it's great, we can be children for the rest of our lives. It's a match made in heaven. They are soulmates who love to hop around the city, play music in the park, or hang out at home, and oh, believe it or not, make arts and crafts. It goes well with this. No, don't. It's really funny. Ever, I mean, from our first date, we were just laughing. We were always laughing. I was not going to let Lenny get away. I just said, I have to marry this woman. True to his words, Scott proposes after six months. Their dream wedding, homemade. Nice. Well, this is almost done. Scott's New York apartment transforms into a full-time really wedding really factory. Hey, check it out. Yeah. Normal people get flowers for their centerpieces and pay hundreds, if not thousands, of dollars. And so Scott got this idea that if we had the guests build centerpieces out of toys, and then we could donate it to the school I teach in afterwards for the children. That's my lovely daughter. As for the white dress, all of the girly details Lenny had dreamt about, suddenly it's just not important. It was only a month before the wedding that I got my dress, so I, I, I just bought it off the rack at Macy's. Lenny's mom, delighted relieved. It's just exciting to see her as a bride. There is just one little thing. I think my mom was afraid that I was going to turn the wedding into a cabaret belly dance show. <sighs> Frankly, I was never too thrilled with a belly dance. I never really cared for it. And I know she she kind of liked to pretend it doesn't exist. I like your arms are waving just like the veil is waving. And if Lenny's mother has hopes the first dance will be a foxtrot, she can dream on. This is Scott's mother's turf. Serena Wilson is a legendary belly dancer herself. 
And that has its own set of conflicts. You're traveling through the door. You're traveling through the door. We went over it so I many times. I was doing times. it with a No, toss. don't flip. Serena, don't. you see, now this is why. You see why yeah. I tell you that it's a problem when we study together? I love you too. I love you too. Go into the chapel and we're going to get mad. One pang in Lenny's heart that her father never knew she had found true love at last and that he wouldn't walk her down the aisle. Well, my dad passed away probably about six months before I met Scott. It was supposed to rain that day, and because it didn't, we think that uh, that, that was my dad's doing. Now I actually cannot believe this is it. This is the day, this is it. I'm actually walking down the aisle at my wedding. I'm crying Don't already. stop crying. Okay. It's a good luck, very no happy crying. day for you. Okay, no The first grade teacher who would given up on love is getting married at last. I remember walking down the aisle and I remember tears coming down my face when I was walking down the aisle. And I don't really know why. It's not because I was nervous. I was happy, I was excited. I mean, this is what I wanted. If life has meaning at all, it possesses it because of love. Do you, Lenny, take Scott to be your husband, to have and to hold, to love and cherish for as long as you both shall live. I do. With this ring, I be wed. It was all like a dream. I felt I was watching a dream when it was really going on. Let me kiss the bride. All it takes is I do to give Lenny what she's always dreamt of, a husband. It's too late to run out, honey. It's done. You're my husband. I have a husband. Don't hurt me. <laughs> I can't believe I have a husband. I'm a married woman. I'm a married woman. Later, at the club where they met, we got married today. I think the whole thing rests on putting the other person's happiness ahead of your own. There's nothing I want more in life than to make Lenny happy. Good things come to those who wait, those who follow their passions and find their souls. One of the brides I interviewed didn't have any money. When we come back, Cynthia. So that wraps it up for us tonight. And Cynthia, Elizabeth, Deborah, and I hope you'll join us again next week. Until then, for all of us at ABC News, good night. Who will pass? Who will fail? The ultimate love test, all new ABC Wednesday. Up next, dozens of New York City school principals lose their jobs. Find out why. And do cell phones affect fertility? Those stories and more when Eyewitness News begins in one minute.